was interesting to think that God even cares about what we sing and how Franz Gruber wrote a beautiful song. Yes, he cares about us all right, and Christmas is the time to especially celebrate that love. Sometimes I get carried away with thinking about what I'm getting. I'm thankful I've already been able to help others this year. Why, what have you done? We all did. Remember the Christmas boxes we put together and sent to those who were less fortunate than we are? I had a whole lot of good stuff in mine, and I hope whoever got it liked it as much as I did. Yeah, that was fun. I remember a verse in the Bible that described what we did. Matthew 25, 40 says, Whatever you did for one of the least of these, you did for me. That sounds like the story of the Christmas visitor. I overheard Mrs. Briggs telling her students all about it. Now that's a good one. It happened one day near December's end. Two neighbors called on a friend. When they arrived, they found her shop that was usually meager and lean, made gay with those of green. They found Victoria with her face all aglow, and they asked her the reason. My shop looks festive. Yes, you look so happy. I haven't seen you this happy in a long time. It had been a very long time since Victoria had been so happy at Christmas, but her family was all gone. Victoria replied to her friends, Come in and I'll tell you why I'm happy. <coughs> Friends, early this morning the Lord appeared to me in a dream and said, I'm coming to be your guest. So I've been busy working very hard and decorating my shop with Christmas decorations. The table is spread and the kettle is shine. Now I wait for the Lord to appear and listen closely to your step as he nears my humble place. And I'll open the door and open his face. Oh, Victoria, I'm so happy for you. This is the first time you've looked forward to Christmas since your brother died. Yes, well, we should probably leave you to wait for the Lord. Goodbye, friend. Victoria bid her friends goodbye and sat down to wait for her special guest. She waited with joy in her heart, and with every little sound, she ran to the window. Suddenly, she heard a knock at the door, and with much excitement, Victoria ran to the door, but all that was there was a beggar whose shoes were worn and her clothes ragged. Victoria was touched as she opened the door to the beggar. Please, ma'am, I'm freezing, and I've been walking for hours. Will you please let me stay a while, then I'll be on my way. Come in, your feet must be frozen and sore. I have some shoes in my shop and a coat that will keep you warm too.
Please let me come in to warm myself. I'm so tired and cold and I've had nothing to eat. Please don't send me away on this Christmas day. You may surely come in as I have a kettle and a cup of tea to warm you where he goes. Please sit at my table and rest a while. You can share my food. Love is best, and I was honored to be your Christmas guest. 